Hey, it's your loan officer, Molly Naidu, and um, we're gonna talk about escrow accounts in new construction and how they function. First, let me lay some foundation. When um, a home is built, initially, the property taxes are based on the dirt, the lot, the very low amount, this year and next year. However, at some point, those homestead taxes will kick in. Well, that is defined by when the certificate of occupancy is issued by the municipality. So let's pretend um, certificate of occupancy is issued in 2022. That means the remainder of 2022 and all of 2023, lot tax is due. However, in 2024, the full homestead tax rate kicks in, but it doesn't kick in until springtime when the county actually um, sends the invoice for property taxes. The mortgage company will then reconcile the account, and by the time this happens, it might be the month of May. Taxes actually start January 1. So now we've got January, February, March, April, and May where there is a deficiency on the amount collected. Let's say we're collecting $50 a month for the lot tax, but the homestead tax is actually $500 a month. It's a swanky house. So then the deficiency could either be paid in one lump sum and then the new tax amount will be applied in that payment moving forward. Or that deficiency could be layered over the adjusted new payment. It would be laid over the top having just a higher payment budgeted for the remainder of the year. You'll be notified of these choices. Another choice we will put before you is if we were to escrow right off the bat the estimated higher amount, that could start your account where $500 a month is set aside in this example. The issue here is that money would be collected, held in an escrow account. You don't have liquid access to it. You're not earning any interest on it. And at, uh, at some point, one time annually, these accounts do get reconciled. So depending on timing, you may actually be notified that there's too much money held in this account and you'll get a check back, like a refund in the mail, that payment will drop. Well, if that payment is dropping in 2023, now you're going back to a lower payment for the remainder of 2023, only to have the reconciliation happen again in 2024 with the actual high amount. So my recommendation is start with that low lot tax amount, knowing that it will increase in 2024 to the exact amount, and then you get to control your money, invest it, and earn interest on your money. If you have any questions, I'd love to share more and um, help you make an informed decision for your family.